What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. I want to wish everyone who is celebrating the holiday a happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you are enjoying the break like I am with some more Fallout. And just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Broadsider unique weapon, and this thing shoots cannonballs. It's easily one of the coolest new unique weapons in the game. The Broadsider is yet another unique weapon that is only obtainable by completing a side quest. So if you do the last voyage of the USS Constitution, that's the name of the side quest, you will get this weapon if you make the right choices, if you choose the right side. So as we always do, let's start with a quick rundown of the quest, which took me about an hour and a half. First things first, you'll need to head to this location on your map. It's kind of north of downtown Boston, and this will say USS Constitution on your map if you haven't done this before, but if you have done it, the Constitution actually moves at the end of the quest, so it'll say the Savings and Loans location on my map, but for you, this will be the USS Constitution. So head to this location, and you'll see this Mr. Handy kind of floating around, and you'll talk to him, and he'll tell you that Captain Ironsides needs your help, and the USS Constitution needs your help. So. Really, a lot of this quest is running errands. It's a little annoying. Um, it's just something you're just going to have to deal with. It's going and retrieving items or repairing them with a high amount of intelligence. So really, your first order of business is to help the crew. So you're going to defend the USS Constitution kind of using these cannons on top of the, uh, the actual ship itself. And you'll have some scavengers, some raiders kind of running at you. And basically, they want to loot this entire ship. So your job is to defend it. And once you've done that, you kind of talk to Captain Ironsides, and he gives you a few missions. So he tells you to go talk to the bosun, which is uh, Mr. Handy, who's in the ship. And he also tells you to talk to Mr. Navigator, who is obviously the navigator of the ship, and that's another Mr. Handy. If you couldn't tell already, everyone on the ship is a robot, and that's kind of the funny part of this mission. So when you're helping the bosun, the bosun first asks you to repair the power cables. So this is easy because the power cables are actually scattered around the ship. You just actually have to go and get them, or you can just go to where you need to actually put those power cables and pass an intelligence check, and it's only three intelligence. So if you have three intelligence, you can finish this part very quick and easy. But once you do that, the bosun needs you to do a second thing, which is to install a power relay coil, which is actually a junk item that you can come across in the world otherwise. So essentially what you have to do here is either pass a five intelligence check in order to repair the you know power relay coil that's already there, or you have to go out and find one or buy one. And I didn't have to do that because again, I have more than five intelligence, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem for you guys that you know are running a low intelligence character. Next, you're gonna help Mr. Navigator get the guidance chip for the Constitution. And it's located just south of the ship, but here's the catch. It's being held by the scavengers that just attacked the ship. However, there are some friendly ones that you can actually talk to. There's a woman you can go up to talk to, and she's not, you know, automatically your enemy. You can go up and talk to her. And so what I recommend you guys do for getting the guidance chip is to agree to side with the scavengers, with this woman, and she'll give you easy access to the guidance chip. You know, they won't stop you from getting that. However, you can just turn on them later and side with Ironsides because you will have to side with Ironsides in order to get this, you know, broadside or unique weapon. I actually didn't know that I could, you know, agree to side with the scavengers to get it easily. So as you can tell in my gameplay, I decided to kill everyone in the scavenger camp and just, you know, nab the guidance chip that way. You can just do it that way if you don't want to deal, you know, with, uh, you know, being confused with who you're siding with. But essentially, all you need to do is get that guidance chip and bring it back. Once you've done that, there are some final plans, some preparations for Captain Ironsides and the Constitution, and those are to repair the radio transmitter and get the turbo pump bearings. So the first one is repairing that radio transmitter. That's another Mr. Navigator mission, and he'll need this transmitter. You can either go up to the transmitter and repair it, but you need nine intelligence, which is a lot of intelligence. Luckily, I had nine intelligence, so all I had to do was walk up to that, click one button, and I was done. 
but if you're not in that boat, if you don't have nine intelligence, you're gonna have to go to some random location. It's actually not set, so it's gonna send you to a random location to get a transmitter, and it'll be kind of in a trunk kind of a container wherever you're looking for it, and it shouldn't be too hard to find. It should take you maybe an extra 10 to 15 minutes, depending on if you found that location before. But once you've done that and repaired that radio transmitter, you're gonna talk to Captain Ironsides himself, and he'll tell you that he needs turbo pump bearings. This is another item that's set in a random location on the map. So you're gonna have to actually go out and get this one because there's no way to just bypass this one easily like the radio transmitter. So once you've gone and collected that from, you know, like a random trunk in a random location, bring that back and install it in the captain's quarters. And then you're pretty much prepared to finish the mission and get your broadsider. You're gonna go up, choose iron sides. Obviously, if you install the turbo pump, you are choosing iron sides. There's a way you can kind of sabotage that and choose the scavengers. But again, we don't wanna do that. You have to choose iron sides if you want the broadsider. So once you do that, your mission is to defeat the scavengers. And let me tell you guys, this is not the easiest thing. There are a ton of scavengers that come and attack you. I mean, I don't know if my game was glitched, but it seemed like there were 50, 100 different enemies that just kept coming in waves, and there were waves of legendary enemies as well. So just be prepared for anything. Maybe my game was glitched, but also keep in mind you can use the cannons on the top of the ship to defend the USS Constitution, but there's also a portion where, you, where you'll have to go into the middle of the ship and you know just shoot people normally because they're actually going to storm the ship and you'll have to defend the constitution from inside once you've killed all those scavengers you're going to get a prompt that says you know go talk to captain ironsides and he will give you the broadsider and here it is essentially this is a handheld giant cannon that shoots cannonballs which is really cool it's kind of fits with the setting of course with boston the revolutionary war it's just a very cool unique weapon and we're going to see what it looks like in action a little more in just a second here but first let's talk about modding so there are not a lot of modding options for this weapon unfortunately really you can put a different barrel on it you can do a few other things like the handle can be changed but really the only thing you should think about is putting on the multi-shot canister and that will allow you to just shoot more shots without having to reload because there's a very long reload timer. And really, guys, this is just a novelty weapon. This is not something that I would just go out and you know choose as my main weapon um, for several reasons. The first one being that ammo is pretty scarce for this, but we'll talk about where you can find some ammo. But essentially, this is a very fun weapon to use. You can just go out in the world and it'll pretty much one-shot a lot of things. I took it to an area where I was only fighting level nines, so that's probably not the best barometer for it, but as a level 41, I was one-shotting level nines with this broadsider. That's probably just the difference in the level, if I'm being honest, but very briefly, a few places you can find ammo are the castle, and you can find it in the armory section of the castle. You'll open that doing castle missions for the Minutemen. You could also find some cannonballs in the tunnels of that castle. Also, you can find cannonballs at Fort Strong near kind of the back area where the cannons are. That's another location. And also these cannonballs can be sold by vendors. And it's usually specialized vendors that, uh, you know, focus on weapons or armor. So it's gonna, you know, kind of be scarce for you guys, but this is just a fun, again, novelty weapon and definitely something that you completionists and weapon collectors out there like me should go out and get. What I want to know is, are you going to go and get the Broadsider after watching this video? It's actually a pretty fun side mission if you can get past all of the, you know, errand running. If you have high intelligence, it's going to be a lot less painful for you. Um, but once you get past that, it's a pretty fun mission and a pretty exciting weapon to get. Also, if you guys have any suggestions for future weapon guides, some kind of cool weapon you'd like me to go collect and show you how to get it, let me know in the comments section below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the Broadsider unique weapon in Fallout 4, and next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos, and remember that this is your number one hub for all Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new from this video, remember to hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for continued unique weapon guides. Some build guides are coming down very soon, and also general tips and tricks videos for Fallout 4. Talk to you guys next time.
Peace.